There is so much more destruction here than even I thought there would be. Fire is such an unwieldy foe. I wonder if the humans have the means to stop it. I would hope that they would have at least mastered it, should they choose to use it as a weapon so deliberately. What is it that happened to their own forest, I wonder? Though, I suppose, based on the few stories that I've heard of their developments, perhaps they are no longer in need of nature. That is something that is quite foreign to me. And I would assume to most people who live here in the forest, or who wish to live in the forest. This fire, it... it was put out by a spot of good luck. It seems that the fates allowed the rain to return just in time. I know if I had been the one tasked with overseeing the weather, I definitely would have found a way to stop this before it had come so far. Or before it had gotten into the forest at all. So many homes destroyed. Not to mention all the trees and other wildlife. I almost regret coming here. Though, I suppose I had to see it for myself. Too many of my kind like to embellish certain details of the human's monstrous acts. Even though I had heard from several sources I counted reliable, I didn't know that it could be this... destructive. And yet... What's that there? I could have sworn that I saw something moving under all the ash. I suppose some of my anger at this destruction is leading me to see things that aren't really there. Perhaps I should turn home sooner than I originally intended. I imagine that the scar of the forest will be here for quite a long time. It wouldn't hurt to wait and make a return visit when I'm slightly more calm. Anger now won't do anything to help the situation. I wish I could just... There it is again. Almost like a flash of... Hold on. Hello? Is anyone out there? I can't imagine that anyone could survive something like this, but I suppose if there's someone moving, then they would have to be quite injured at the very least. Hold on just a moment. I'm making my way towards you, I think. It's a bit hard to make you out through all this destruction. Could you move again? Would that be too much trouble? Ah, oh, there you are. One moment. Here. I'm here. My goodness. You're absolutely covered in ash. I would say it's nothing short of a miracle that you are able to move enough for me to see you at all. Hang on. Your features are still quite obscured. Let me see if I can find... Ah, yes. Here's your face. Are you able to open your eyes? Can you hear me? Oh. There you are. You had me startled that I had come too late. I suppose it was a good thing that I came walking this way, after all. I hate to imagine what might have happened to you if I hadn't. But that's beside the point now. Hold still. I have a bit of water on me. So, I guess considering the difference in our sizes, it might be quite a lot for you. Here. Open your mouth. I'll help you. That's it now. Swallow. There you go. I figure that'll at least do a little bit to help you. I'll give you a bit of a minute to make sure that you can keep down what I gave you. Then I'll see if you can take some more. I'm sure that liquids is definitely something you're lacking at the moment. In the meantime, let me see if I can wipe your face off just a bit. Hang on. I'm going to tear at the end of my skirt. It might not be the most hygienic wipe I could find under other circumstances, but I figure for now, just getting some of the ash off your face will do wonders to improve your condition. Well, at least preventing it from getting inside you 
which I would not imagine could be a pleasant experience. Give me just one moment. Here we are. Now hold still. This might be a bit cold. There you are. Oh. Oh no, there's nothing wrong. I just... Your skin is not quite as bright of a color as many of the creatures that dwell around here. Or, at least, so I thought. And, are these your ears? They look so... Excuse me. I don't mean to be rude. Though, considering the circumstances... Pardon the question, but may I ask... What are you, exactly? A human? This far out in the forest? Another time like this, I... But you're not wearing anything that resembles the human military uniforms. At least, not as they've been described to me. In fact, your clothing looks as though it was quite a bit worn before you even ended up in this area. Still, well, I suppose it doesn't matter in the end. A creature in need is a creature in need, human or not. We can work out the details of how you got here later. For now, I'll try to see what I can do to help you, regardless of what your kind might have done to me and mine. It's clear that whatever you intend to do, or not, you got caught up in the crossfire somehow. And, well, anyone who lives here in the forest is bound to have sympathy for someone who has had a bad run-in with fire. Speaking of which, it seems that you have quite a few burns. I can't quite see everything under the ash and dirt. But I assume that none of them are comfortable. Let me think. There's a stream not too far from here. It marks the border between this accursed place and the rest of the forest. I suppose it must have been part of the reason that the fires were not able to continue on. But that history is irrelevant to you, I'm sure. This stream is on the way back to my own home. With your permission, of course, I can carry you towards it. I can wash you off in the stream as we pass. The water is quickly moving, and it should do quite a lot to clean you up, as well as soothe some of your more minor burns. As for the major ones, we'll have to think of something else. At the moment, I'm not even exactly sure what kind of injuries I'm working with. Well, once the ash is cleared away, I'll have a better idea. From there, I should be able to help you with at least some of your wounds. I don't have a lot of healing expertise, even for my kind, but I figure that anything is better than nothing, especially in your case. And there's always the option to call other friends of mine who would know better than I. That shouldn't be outside my ability to help you. What's that, human? Will I struggle to carry you? <laughs> I suppose you may still be delirious from what has happened to you. You do know where you are, right? What kinds of creatures inhabit the old forest? Oh, my goodness. I suppose you do know the name. And it's not a good one for you, is it? I suppose the name of the forest represents my home. But I suppose for you it would be something quite different. Well... I suppose you can see how much the humans care for the forest, evidenced by what's happened here. But that's not important now. What is important is getting you to safety. I would hate for you to have to suffer more on my watch, considering what has already happened to you. But just to fill in the gaps. No, I am not human like you. Not all the way, anyway, though that's a bit of a long story. I am a giantess, for all the reasons that matter. Half giantess, technically. Though, the only thing that does is make me a bit smaller than some of my other kindred. 
As far as you and I are concerned, it shouldn't be much of an object. You'll be no trouble for me to carry. I've managed much more heavy loads. And I can guarantee you, you are not any heavier than a centaur. <laughs> that I'm sure of. I highly doubt that any of your own kind would be coming this way. But just in case you've already sent word out, I won't take you without permission. Though, I would highly encourage you to accept this help as I doubt there will be any more people passing through this area, whether they be human or otherwise. I know that my kind may seem scary to you. I understand quite a bit. I was given a bit of a fright when I realized you were a human, even incapacitated as you clearly are. But I can assure you, I mean you no harm, and not to alarm you. But I don't think there's much I could do that hasn't already happened. And on top of that, I may be your only choice. I highly doubt that there will be anyone coming this way. Much less someone as friendly as I. Not to toot my own horn. But, now that you have all the information, what do you say to my offer? Can I carry you back? Towards the stream, at least, to help aid some of your wounds. Yes? Good. I must say that I was hoping you would say that. Regardless of your wishes, I would feel... wrong for leaving you behind in such a state. Here. Reach for my neck. That's it, human. There. I'll just leave my arm around, and... Here we are. Do you feel stable? I promise that you're not in any danger of falling, but I want you to feel safe in my arms, or as safe as you can considering the circumstances. You do? Excellent. Then we're off. Try to relax, dear human. You're safe now. I will take care of you from now on. <laughs>